Hey guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. You're going to be watching a clip from our live stream, and it is here for you right now. East now, we're going to get to that right now, the mm -hmm. NFC at least. Uh, I don't know if they're that this year. I mean, they're not. I mean, they have the Eagles in that division. We're probably yeah. going to. Everyone else got be better. Pretty low. Everyone else got yes, better. Yes, I would agree with that. I think this year they're going to be so much better, and we could see a lot of the playoff mm -hmm. teams come out of this division. I think there could be definitely two that come to mind I that I would say, wow, I think these teams will most likely make the playoffs as I was predicted right now. Um, so let's talk about that. He just asked who wins the division. So we'll get to that in just a moment. But obviously, we have the Washington football team, the Cowboys, the Eagles, and the Giants in that division. Three out of the four got better. The Eagles got worse. You guys can add up. Uh, yeah, I think that um, it's going to be a division that's a lot better. I think that it, like you said, Tyler, it probably will send multiple playoff teams, in my opinion. But the question was, who's going to win the division? And I personally believe, again, I mean, we haven't done our division prediction videos yet. So this is a little bit of a sneak peek. We'll probably be doing those maybe towards the end of June. We'll start getting into our division prediction videos. But we could tell you a little early. I think that the Washington football team will repeat as NFC East champs. I think they got better. I think with that defense, they can beat anyone if they win the battles in the trenches like they so often do. Look at their, their game against the Steelers. They won the battles in the trenches. They made the plays when they needed to, and they knocked off an undefeated Steelers team. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick is good enough to help them be a playoff team. They improved the supporting cast around him. They've got a great coach in Ron Rivera who's very experienced, knows what he's doing, and also a nice young group of running backs that I really like. you got Gibson in there. you got J.D. McKissick. you got Jared Patterson, who they got as an undrafted free agent, which I think the fact that he went undrafted is ridiculous. Uh, I just think there's a lot of nice pieces there. I think the Washington football team, for reasons I just said and others, will repeat as NFC East champs. Yeah, Ryan, I think I like Washington just as much as you. And so I could say all those, everything that Ryan said, I, I echo. Uh, but also, I like the Cowboys too. I think they have a great team. And I think Dak is a fantastic quarterback. I think he's top five, no question, in my opinion. I think he's up there with the big guys, and I hope he can stay healthy. I hope he has a good recovery. Obviously, he's still in that transition right now, but I've seen him out there in videos and stuff. It looks like he's, he's getting better, so that's going to be good for everyone around the NFL, even Cowboys haters, because no one wanted to see Dak get injured. That was tough on all the NFL community. Uh, but obviously, the Cowboys defense is going to probably be a train like, like, like usual. Uh, we're expecting that. They've tried to improve it, but even Cowboys fans will tell you it's not very good. However... Uh, we talked about the Titans earlier and how their, their teams have to be controlled by their offensive production. What's well, kind of how the Cowboys have been for a couple of years and for some games they've had success. And I mean, it's always, if you're a team that's just relying on one side of the ball, you're probably going to be in a lot of close games. Just going back to the game where Dak got hurt uh, against the Giants. The Giants, not particularly a great team. They, I mean, they can compete. Last year, they were competing with some teams. Uh, and they didn't. I they didn't have Saquon. That was after that, right? Because he got hurt. In he was hurt. Yeah, hurt week week too. Yeah. Uh, and so even without Saquon Barkley, uh, the Giants were compete competing with not the greatest offense against the the, the the Cowboys because their defense just couldn't do junk. And so uh, it's just this is facts here. Uh, but their offense is going to have to put up a lot of production. I think they can do it. Uh, Zeke has to get better for the Cowboys, no question. Uh, I am not a huge fan of Zeke. Just in, I like Zeke. He just hasn't done too many great things. I think he's been in kind of a lull here. And I've talked to a couple of Cowboys fans who say the same thing. Like, why do we sign Zeke to so much money? This dude is garbage. Uh, not garbage, though. He's, he's all right. He's not quoting anyone. Man. No, I'm not quoting anyone. But uh, So I'm going to take the Cowboys on that one. However, I'd love to see Washington win it. I'm rooting for Washington to win it. Yeah, I'm Eagles, they the stink. Time. And, and oh, yeah. sorry, Giants. Love Kenny Galladay, but... I'm uh, not exactly a Daniel Jones believer, but I'd love yeah. to see him to have some success. Me neither, but you mentioned the Giants. Kadarius Tony was a good pick. All you people out there, all you people in sports media saying they had a terrible night one of the draft. The Giants were one of the Let's biggest winners. talk about that in a second. I can, like, I can, know, it, gets it. it gets me angry. It gets me angry. Let me answer, let me answer yeah, this You break our tie first. first. Then we'll talk about the unnecessary Giants yes. draft team. And then we got another answer. Yeah, let me read the answer from, from there in a second. But hold on, let me just answer it really quickly before we read the comments. I'm choosing between the Cowboys and the Washington football team, and it's tough for me because I can see these both of these teams winning 11-plus games next year. I think they both have a shot to be really good. But I really want to see Washington win this division, and I think they have a chance to do it, especially now with that defense that they have. If they can get the consistent quarterback play, I think they can really take it over the edge of this team. Um, so I'm going to pick Washington to win it just right now. Yeah. That's not official, just me at this moment, wanting Washington to be that team and thinking they have a talent to do so. I'm going to pick them. With that... We'll see you guys later. See ya.